Oh, baby. Poor Mansfield trout. Man, these big girls out here. That's what I'm talking about. So today, Ruben's gonna take us out and show us how it's done. Now Ruben, we've been friends now for probably six, seven years. We've known each other a while. But every time we fish together, we're weight fishing. And even though we've done some shows together, we're always on different ends of the planet. So I told him today we're staying in the boat so we can stay together, so we don't run off. Because once we start weight fishing, the fishing takes over and the TV goes away. That's right. <laughs> I feel a little restricted not being out off the boat, but you know. Well, all right, we'll be a lot of fun. So, uh, okay. how has the fishing been? What, what's been going on? Fishing has been really good here in Port. It's just taken off. Lots of trout have been caught uh, in between the 18 to 23 mark with the occasional fish over 25, even 30 inch slot. Uh, as you know, it's, it's summertime, so they're skinny fish. They're, they're not with eggs. Uh, but it's still nice to see a big fish like that. And, you know, we uh, we do practice CPR, anything over 23, 24, we'll let them all go. Those are our baby makers for sure. Uh, red fishing, been a little tough. Uh, it seems to be a little bit deeper than normal. Uh, we're normally seeing them schooled up on the on the sand on the east side. Hadn't really seen a whole bunch of that going on. Seen some big schools of black drum doing that though. Uh, but hopefully today we'll, dr we'll drift to deeper water and maybe we can pick up some solid reds and so maybe pick up a big trout. I'm, that's what I'm hoping for. I tell you what, I'm just happy to be here. I love this town. And we got here last night, the deer were walking around. It's just, you had a few tarpon rolling in here in the harbor. I mean, it just feels good to be back in Port Mansfield. Oh, man, I'm glad to have you back. It's always good. All right, y'all want to see us pop a trout over here under the lights before we go? <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. There's fish everywhere. <laughs> All right, y'all hang out with us today. We're gonna have some fun. Yeah, there's bait in here. There we go. There we go. He hit him once and came back again. That's a better trap. I think this is going to be a keeper. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Is it up there, sir? Oh, good looking trap. Yeah. That's a perfect eating size right there. That's kind of makes two good, nice fillets. But today's your lucky day, mama. Well, here we go. We finally made it out to bay. We found our spot. Just lost a couple and caught her. And uh, Ruben's about to catch another one here. So in about five casts, we had a hit, a loss, and a fish. So I think we found our spot now. There we go. See him up there? I do see. Got a big one. But he hit it they soft. Cut, nice. Small one. Oh, right here. Doubled up. Jubilee. Getting dubiously. Oh, mine came off. <laughs> well, mine is uh, very uh, feisty. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Yeah. That one's real close. So that's a male. You can hear him grunting. Y'all want to find out if he's a keeper, I'll tell you. I'm going to say he's 14 and a half. But we're going to find out. Hey, look at this. There's 14 and a half right there. Can I call him or what? I guess when you're good, you're good. Uh, yeah. That's what all those years of weighing and measuring fish at tournaments will do for you. Ruben, how long have you been guiding? Uh, 12 years now, maybe. Woo. 11, 12 years, I believe it is. Nine of them down here in Port Mansfield. You were up in Galveston for, first, weren't you? I did a lot of West Galveston Bay, Christmas Bay. I did a lot of kayak trips as well. 
and then uh, went down to Aransas Pass to help my buddy Dean Slow Ride Thomas one <laughs> summer, and uh, I'd split that and come down to Port Mansfield, and eventually what ended up happening is I ended up just staying down here and fishing, and uh, we sold our house in Pearland and moved here full time. They shut down the Walmart in Raymondville, man. That hurt. That's big. That hurt, but I'll tell you, man, it, the only Walmart in the whole county, from Willisie County. Oh, yeah, he's fighting good. And that, that, that hurt our whole county, man, I'll tell you what. That didn't help at all. Oh, it's another big one. Yeah, it is. Boo! Double up. Double up. Spin. Oh, come on, baby. I felt the hook pop for a second. Oh, there she is. There's a good, decent one. There's a decent one. All right, another keeper. There we go. There it is. There it is. Oh, all right. This is a better fish, boys. Yes. Run to the side. There you go. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, good fish. There we go. That's crazy. Come here, baby. Let me get her out of the water real quick. There she is. Look at this. Come here, girl. Oh, come here, girl. Oh, there she is. Yeah, baby. That's what we're looking for right there. Give me some elbow. Boom. Yeah. Look at that. She took that little brown lure right there on the side. And uh, look at this. She's got some marks on her, she's bleeding. I don't know what that is, but that's all right. See how skinny she is? So this is the fish we're looking for. That's definitely well over 20 inches. Skinny summer trout. All right. Go make babies this winter, girl. There's the Port Mansfield fish we're looking for. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Tell you what, we'll be back here in a few minutes and hopefully we can catch some more of those big fish. Keeping them, it's a fish on the end of the line, right? That's right. All right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and mark this on the GPS. We pulled three fish out of this one spot. Ruben's going to catch another one while I'm marking the GPS. And then we're going to turn the boat around and head back east, drop the drift sock, and work this flat real slow and see if they're on the whole flat or they're just holding in the area. If they're just holding the area, we'll drift back up here and just power pull down, fan, let it up, drift a little bit, fan, and just really work this area hard. We finally found a keeper trout. So the idea now is to work the area. Oh yeah. Besides this, come on, yeah, you down. Nice one. Another pan-sized trap. Bring it over to you again. Oh yeah, that's too <laughs> good for lays right there. That's a nice keeper. Ooh, 
yeah. Nice little Trotsky right there. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, I still got my big. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Good fish. All right. Decent little fish there. Decent little fish. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see if it's net worthy. Net worthy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a good yeah, keeper. I'll bring her in, but that is a keeper for sure. You got it? You got her? Oh, yeah. Oh, look yeah. at that. Look at that. That's a nice one. All right. Look at that. Another nice keeper trout. That's about an 18 incher. They're really liking the chartreuse. By the way, I've been throwing this all day. All these fish I've caught on it, and you can see it's full of teeth marks, but it's holding up. This is the Flapping Devil by Brown Lures. So, pretty fish. She's gonna go back in the water. She's ready to go. All right, I think we got our spot. I think we got our fish. Yeah, buddy. Captain Ruben, man, he knows what he's doing. Oh yeah, there you go, there you go. Up that boat behind us is hooked up. We got some fish going now, man. How about this? Can't let you have all the fun, Scott. Is that a keep? Yeah, that's another nice, nice little keeper. Bring that baby in. Boy, did you go to chartreuse? Yes, I did. I can't get spanked, you know. Nice little Troutsky. There you go. Yeah. That's this, croaking, right? That's amazing. It's a little male. He's a little croaking it. All right, all right. Good little guy. Swim. Make another day. Fish on! Fish on! So for those of you up north that uh, are watching this show and don't know much about Texas in this area, Port Mansfield is just a little bitty town. You can see it off the horizon. And uh, Ruben decided to make this his home, moved here from the city. I'm starting to see why. Another nice little Big keeper man. trout. Croaking away, if you can hear it. He's a little angry at me. For some reason, the hook must have hurt, I guess. We'll put him back. Yeah, Port Mansfield has a residence, probably no more than 300 people in it. 300 people. We have, uh, we finally have some law there, and uh, we have one police officer and about three game wardens which I commend our game wardens. We have fantastic game wardens. They do, they work really hard in what they do. We got a nice one here. Another nice, uh, ooh, good thing that. This is, this is a good one. Yeah, definitely 20 incher. All right, let me bring it in. Swallowed it. Oh, I can, oh yeah. Pretty trout room. Yeah, oh yeah, another nice one. <laughs> get myself some slack and get the oh look at this that's the definition of pot looking Scott take taking my spot look at the yellow mouth on that baby right there mm, mm, mm. gorgeous fish we'll go ahead and let her go so for those of you that are watching from out of state oh this is a good fish good fish keep your head down baby Boy, this fish is really trying to shake this one. Stand down, let's see. I'm thinking it's about 18, not even that. 16, 17, yeah, probably 17. Stand on the boat, does not want to come in. Nice fish, you want me to grab that or you got him? Fish. Oh, look, at trying to take drag. She does not want to come in the boat. Maybe, oh, she swallowed it too. Yeah. That's the difference. Look how these fish are eating these lures. The past couple have swallowed the lure. Yeah, they have. That's a nice one, no doubt. All right, well, I'll tell you what. We're on them right now. Look at this. Another one. Looks like it's been laying up on the bottom or yeah. something like that. That's how that other big female was. Well, we're going to run off and uh, visit my friend Pastor Bobby. Oh, I'll show you this real quick. First, look at this. Somebody getting a free meal. That, is that a sea lice? That is some type of sea lice or something like that. Something so, I don't want on me. Some I type of leech that. or something. So, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna give her a break. Nope, this guy's not coming off. So, baby, I'm sorry, but he's just gonna eat your tail. And we're gonna let her go. 
We're going to go visit my friend Pastor Bobby for a few minutes. When we come back, I'm going to finish telling you all about Port Mansfield. I count it a great privilege and an honor to uh, spend a few minutes with you today uh, as we've uh, already just experienced a wonderful outdoor show. I get to share with you a little bit about the creator of the outdoors, God. I want to, uh, if I can for a few minutes, talk about, uh, well, one of the experiences of fishing. You know, when it's time to go fishing, you get your rod and your reel out and uh, look in the tackle box, make sure you have the right line but it's very important that you pick a lure that will work in whatever area you're fishing in. That lure is intended to entice whatever you're fishing for to take hold of it. And once taken hold of, then you can reel it in, put it on your stringer, later on, roast it. Well, for enjoyment and eating, you know how that goes. And uh, matter of fact, I'm thinking of a fish fry right now, that'd be a lot of fun. Well, I want you to do a little flip side for a moment and I want you to uh, recall what the Word of God says, I was looking at it here recently in James chapter 1, he said, uh, he said, uh, God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone, but each one is tempted when he by his own evil desire, he is dragged away and enticed, and after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin when it is full grown gives birth to death. Why did I read that verse? Because as I flipped it on you, I want you to remember, I want you to recognize and recall that we do have, well, an enemy of our soul. His name is Satan. Uh, he's real, and he's the one who's doing the fishing, throwing out nice little lures for you and I to uh, think it's pretty and so we can latch on to. Remember Jesus himself? Jesus himself, while he was uh, in the wilderness being uh, in the midst of a fast for 40 days and 40 nights, he uh, was enticed by the animal. Not his spirit because he was fully God and fully man, but by in his flesh, he was enticed. Took him up on a high mountain and said, hey, I'm gonna give you all of this, you just bow down and worship. He even tried to lure in Jesus himself. Satan's not a respecter of persons. He'll go after Jesus, he'll go after you. Trying to entice you, he's trying to lure you in. But remember, it's not the lure that's the sin, it's when you take a hold of it, sin is then birth. That's what the scripture says, that's what we've just read. And I don't want to end up on Satan's stringer one day because when all said and done, I don't want to roast. Lord bless you. I just threw my fish back in, dried my hands, and Ruben's already hooked up again. So welcome back. Got another nice one. Look at this. Got about 18, 19, nice little trout. Fun way to welcome y'all back. That's, welcome you back to a fish on. That's right. Say hello. Come on, baby. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of line here. Maybe I'll just do a, a little water release here. Get this hook off of there. There she is. Nice little troutski. Pretty fish. Look at that. Gonna let her go. There she is. All right. So. As I was saying before our break, for those of you, a lot of y'all are watching from out of state and uh, up north Texas, places like that. Uh, since we do, this show is on nationally on Pursuit Channel and a couple other networks and the internet. But some of y'all may be saying, you know, this is a trip I wanna have. I can tell you, it is a fun trip, but you're coming to fish when you go to Port Mansfield. There's nothing here. There's not a grocery store. There's a gas station, there's a few marinas, a couple restaurants, but if you want a vacation and a real vacation, where we stayed last night was Getaway Lodge and Ruben's wife kind of runs the place and it takes care of everybody there. And that lodge is just first class. Now they take a lot of corporate groups there and uh, guide groups of 20, 30 people and they got all the lodging for it, big kitchen, big tables. Uh, I've done several events there where we had big groups there and just had a ball. Got a nice swimming pool where you can hang out. Um, but it is a fishing town. And if you ever just want to head down to South Padre Island, you're only about an hour by drive? About an hour and 15 by dr driving. So you can head down there and see the white beaches or if you got a boat or a guide will take you, you can head out here and park up and they got you can get on the beach right here 
They got jetties that go offshore, and their offshore fishing is phenomenal. So when you're fighting a big trout, especially if you're using braid, there's all this play in there. So when they start making that big, strong run, it doesn't rip that hook out of their head. There we go. Ooh. I saw it. That's a nice trout. Thank you. Now, ooh, ooh. Good trout, good trout. Good trout. A little bit of drag. And get the net. I think this is pretty much net worthiness. All right. I like the net worthy trout. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's what we're talking about. Now my heart's beating. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Woo. Yes, I've been needing a 27, 28 inch trout all week. Oh, baby. Fort Mansfield trout. Man, these big girls out here. It's good when you can make a lure that's soft enough to have action, but sturdy enough to just keep going. But I'm gonna tell you, Brian, how are you gonna make you money when To uh, use one lure all day long. It's gonna take me a year to go through the package. This is staying down. Oh, yes. We're back on them, baby. Back on the girls. Isn't she pretty? Isn't she pretty? <laughs> I think the one I missed is about half her size. Look at her. What a beautiful fish, so I can get her in a boat. Yes. Why don't you look at these hook sets? Right there inside the mouth. Pretty trout. Look at that mouth. You think that greener water? Yeah. I got one though. Or not? I've got one on. <laughs> Hit it as soon as it landed. Nice oh, yeah. trout. Oh, double. Yeah, yeah, let's move. Yeah, we're good. Nah. Oh my oh, god. Oh, that's a good one. You got a good one. You got a good one. Look, this is a nice one too. Yeah. Oh, baby. Hurry up and get rid of this one here so I can get yours, help you. Might need to get the net on this one. Oh, baby. That looks nice. Look at this. Let me see how big she is. Might need the net. Oh, we're going to need net. Yeah, we're going to need net. I got to keep her out of the motor. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's how you wrap up the show right there. Look That's a this. nice one. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is why you come to Port Mansfield in the summer. Look at this beauty. Woo! Tell you what, we're gonna wrap it up on this one. We have had an awesome morning, man. It's not even lunchtime yet. Dude, nice calm spots, man. All right, so Captain Ruben Garza, Snook Dude Charters, putting us on the fish, man. Yeah, buddy. Y'all, y'all give him a call, see if he's got an opening for you. Uh, you can do this in the middle of the summer and be done by lunch. We're gonna be eating a burger here in about 20 minutes. So. Amen. Woo. Hey, thanks for joining us down at Texas Fisherman TV. God bless y'all. Take care.